Hi guys, today we're picking up uh, back where we left off on relativistic energies, part two. So over here we got the Large Hadron Collider uh, near Geneva, Switzerland, and we've got protons that are accelerated to a total energy of 400 times their rest energy. So we need to find the speed of the protons uh, in C, uh, the factor times the speed of light, round to six decimal places and for part B we need to find their kinetic energy in mega electron volts. So I put some equations over here and we've got the rest energy equals mc squared, kinetic energy equals total energy minus rest energy, uh, total energy equals this um, and I also put the proton mass as well as joules um, because for part B, when we need it in electron volts, uh, the answer we get is going to be in joules. Uh, we divide that by the charge of an electron, um, which is this, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, and we're going to be left with electron volts. All right, so first we need to figure out an equation to find the velocity, which is down here. All right, so... We do know that the total energy is 400 times the rest energy. So we know that the rest energy is just mass times the speed of light squared. Uh, so we're going to just put this. E is going to equal 400 times mc squared. All right. And uh, we are going to put this equation in. Um, and we're not going to write the 400 times mc squared yet. Uh, we'll substitute it in later because first we need to drive an equation to find v. So we've got E equals mc squared divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. Uh, so for the first part, we are going to uh, take this e. And we're going to uh, well first we're going to uh, take this right here, and we're going to throw it up here. And we're going to take this e, and we are going to stick it down here. All right. So that's going to leave us with square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared is equal to mc squared divided by e. Okay, so now, uh, as you know, we need to uh, square this, and that's going to, that's going to, so when we square that, it's going to get rid of that, and we need to square this side, all right, and that is going to leave us with 1 minus v squared divided by c squared equal to mc squared divided by e squared. Um, now, you might be tempted just to uh, subtract that 1 and then multiply it by c. Um, well, you know, you'd square root it first, but uh, when you do that, you get a negative answer, and when you start doing these square roots, you just sometimes you'll come up with a negative answer. Uh, but anyways, so the way around that is to uh, first add this. So we're gonna we're gonna take that and we're gonna add it to the other side, and we're gonna take this, and we are going to subtract it on this side. Okay, so that's going to leave you with 1 minus mc squared divided by e squared is equal to v squared divided by c squared. Alright, so now what we got to do is we need to square root this to get rid of the squares. So we're going to do that. Okay, and you're going to that, and what you're going to be left with is uh, 1 minus mc squared. Now, 
now's a good time we're going to substitute this e in here okay so, so we, we just have the e so we're just going to throw that in here we got 400 times mc squared Right, is equal to v over c. Um, so we just have a few more things to do. As you can see, uh, these mc squares can cancel out. So you're going to be left with uh, 1 over 400. And then you're going to take this c and you're going to multiply it by that side. So for the final equation, what we are going to be using is the square root of 1 minus 1 over 400 squared times c is going to give us our velocity. So uh, we're going to go over to the calculator and work this, work this out. So we are finding the square root, and we we're saying 1 minus uh, 1 over 400, and that is going to be squared. Okay, we're going to put this in uh, parentheses. And then it's going to be basically times c. Uh, so that's pretty much all you're going to do. So when we do that, we get 0.999997, and that is exactly six decimal places. Remember, we're multiplying by c, so this is going to be 0.999997c. Okay. So... For part one up here, uh, V is going to equal 0.999997C. All right. Now for part two, it says the kinetic energy is what? So we know that kinetic energy is going to be equal to the total energy minus the rest energy. So we've got the total energy. Well, we can just simplify this real fast. Um, so E E is going to be, we know that E is 400 times the rest energy. So 400 times the rest energy, which is mc squared, okay. Um, so now that's e, right here. So we got mc squared, which is the rest energy times 400. Because up here it says total energy is 400 times the rest energy. So we got that, and uh, so that's total energy minus the rest energy, which is just mc squared. Mc squared. All right. So we can factor out an mc squared. So we rewrite it as mc squared times 400 minus 1. All right, so, so if you were to do this, uh, just make sure it's the same. mc squared times 400 is 400 mc squared, as we got here, minus mc squared. So that's exactly right. And of course, you can break this down a step further and say mc squared times 399. Okay. Um, now that's going to leave you with an answer in uh, joules. So, what you want to do is, um, and how you know that, okay, is that. Uh, All a joule is is kilograms times meter squared uh, divided by uh, second squared. And we need this in EV, and so we're going to divide this whole answer by uh, the charge of an electron. 
okay? And that's going to leave us with these volts. So joules divided by coulombs is going to leave you with that. So we divide it by the charge of an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. All right, and that will give us an answer. So go back to the calculator. And we are saying the mass, which we know is 1.67265 times 10 to the negative 27th mass uh, times times speed of light 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th and we're going to square that okay and uh, and then we were going to multiply that whole thing times 399 then we're going to divide it by 1.60 times 10 uh, to the negative 19th. And we are going to get 3.7488 uh, uh, times 10 to the 11th. So let's go back here. All right, so we're going to get 3.748 uh, uh, times 10 to the 11th. Let me make sure that's correct. Yes. Okay. So we need it in mega electron volts, though. So we need to come over, uh, so it's at the 11th power, we need it at the 6th power, so we're going to go over five, 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, drop to that, and it becomes a 6, or mega. And so your answer is going to be 3, 7, 4, 8, 8, 0, or 374,880. 80 mega electron volts. And that's how you solve that problem.